And bending the knee before him, they mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! And they spat upon him and took the reed and kept striking him on the head. And when they had mocked him, they took the cloak off of him and put on his own garments and led him away to crucify him. Now as they went out, they found a man of Cyrene named Simon, and him they forced to carry up, to take up his cross. And they came to the place called Golgotha, that is, the place of the skull. And they gave him wine to drink mixed with gall, but when he had tasted it, he would not drink. And after they had crucified him, they divided his garments, casting lots, to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet, saying, They divided my garments amongst them, and upon my vesture they cast lots. And sitting down, they kept watch over him, and they put above his head the charge against him, as it was written, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then two robbers were crucified with him, one at his right hand and one at his left. Now the passers-by were jeering at him, shaking their heads and saying, Aha! Thou who wouldst destroy the temple and in three days build it up again, save thyself! If thou art the Son of God, come down from the cross. In like manner, the chief priests with the scribes and the elders, mocking, said he saved others, himself he cannot save. If he is the king of Israel, let him come down from the cross, and we will believe him. He trusted in God. Let him deliver him now if he wants him. For he said, I am the son of God. And the robbers also who were crucified with him reproached him in the same way. Now from the sixth hour there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. But about the ninth hour, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani? That is, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And some of the bystanders on hearing this said, The man is calling Elias. And immediately one of them ran, and taking a sponge, soaked it in common wine, and put it on a reed, and offered it to him to drink. But the rest said, Wait. Let us see whether Elias is coming to save him. But Jesus again cried out with a loud voice and gave up his spirit. Behold, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from the top to the bottom, and the earth quaked, and the rocks were rent, and the tombs were opened, and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep arose, and coming forth out of the tombs after his resurrection, they came into the holy city and appeared to many. Now when the centurion and those who were with him keeping guard over Jesus saw the earthquake and the things that were happening, they were much afraid, and they said, Truly, this man was the Son of God. And many women were there, looking on from a distance, who had followed Jesus from Galilee, ministering to him. Among them were Mary Magdalene, and Mary the mother of James and Joseph, and the mother of the sons of Zebedee. Now, when it was evening, there came a certain rich man of Arimathea, Joseph by name, who was also a disciple of Jesus, and they went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. And Pilate ordered the body to be given up. And Joseph, taking the body, wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his new tomb, which he had hewn out of rock. And then he rolled a large stone to the entrance of the tomb and departed. But Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were there, sitting opposite the sepulcher. And the next day, which was the one after the day of preparation. The chief priests and the Pharisees went in a body to Pilate saying, Sir, we have remembered how that deceiver said when he was yet alive that after three days I will rise again. Give orders therefore that the sepulcher be guarded until the third day or else his disciples may come and steal him away and say to the people that he has risen from the dead. And the last imposture will be worse than the first. The pilot said to them, You have a guard. Go guard it as well as you know how. So they went and they made the sepulchre secure, sealing the stone and setting the guard.
Praise be to you, o Christ. Christo, Filio Dei, Ungenitum, Erex Patria, 